What's going on, you guys? Dallas Cowboy football news. Cowboys, Eagles, Sunday night football, prime time, winner, first place in the NFC East. Cowboys coming off three disastrous, embarrassing, horrific losses, guys. And uh, it's so frustrating as a fan. Uh, but we got to unite in this one, guys. It's the Eagles. Their fans been talking mad mess all season long. We got to shut them up. Duct tape that mouth and just shut them up. Um, God, I can't stand an Eagle fan. It's time, guys. It is so time for this team to turn it around because if they don't, the season's done. If we drop this game, the season is done. A lot of fans have been saying, oh, we were 3-5 and five last year. We turned it around. Last year is completely different than this year. The defense was better last year. Amari Cooper was healthy. Uh, our drafting or you know trading for Amari Cooper created some kind of spark for us. Uh, when we got Amari, everything started clicking. And now, guys, it's not looking good for us at all. Uh, so different from last year, guys. Don't have that mindset. Let's focus on this year. We're 3-3. Three and three. We've lost to the Saints, the Packers, and the Jets. Three in a row. The flipping 0-4 Jets we lost to. These Cowboys got to go out there and prove it. I think Jason uh, Garrett already lost the locker room. And for him to prove that he didn't, it's he has to win this game. He has to. I'm not going to sit here and say it's a must-win game. They should already know it's a must-win game. Beat these Eagles, give it all you got, go rest in the bye week happy. If we lose to these Eagles, going to that bye week is going to be miserable. Miserable for these Cowboys. They got to go into that bye week with the win, and it starts against these Eagles Sunday night. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, I've been getting a lot of questions asked how are we going to beat these Eagles? Number one, those wide receivers got to catch footballs. If it hits you in the hands, you got to catch it. If it hits you in your feet in your hands, I don't expect you to catch it. Dak Prescott has to bring that ball down, hit him between the numbers, hit him in stride, Dak Prescott. Hit him in stride. There's so many touchdowns <clears throat> that we left on the field. If Dak would have freaking threw it in stride, throw it in stride, Dak. Um, this defense has to stop the run. i seen a, a, a clip of uh, a little pitcher clip of double-teamed uh, ends. Robert Quinn and Demarcus Lawrence was a top 10 end being double-teamed. That means our middle sucks bad. We know this already. The, somebody, Malik Collins, heel. They just picked up a guy, a, for, <coughs> a former Eagle Hamilton. Hamilton. Whatever works, guys. They got to stop the middle. Somebody in the middle has to go get a sack. <coughs> Excuse me. And... And, you know, we got embarrassed three weeks in a row. Three weeks in a row we got embarrassed. We cannot get embarrassed Sunday night, guys. Um, the, the tackles, the Dak has to get tired. Dak got demolished last week, just straight thrown around like a, like a child's doll. I mean, just thrown around. Dak has to be smart and not take hits like that. Dak has to be smart, knowing to tuck and run, knowing to slide. Uh, don't be trying to hurdle people, Dak, um, because that, you're going to get yourself injured. Uh, these Cowboys got to go execute. They got to go win. Uh, prove to me, Jason Garrett, you didn't lose this locker room. Prove to me, that, prove to us as fans that you didn't lose this locker room because the missing the high fives is horrible to see. You're losing it, Jason Garrett. A win will bring everything back. Go into the bye week, get everybody healthy, and come back and let's finish these games strong. Because it, <clears throat> if we lose this and they go into this bye week with the loss, guys, it's going to be super, super sad. But, guys, let me know what y'all think about this game. Let's shut these Philly fans up because God knows I can't stand an Eagle fan. It's been your Dallas Cowboy Football News. Cowboy Nation. It's time for these Cowboys to get their act together. Peace.